Hey, so we're still working on this car. Uh, what I'm going to try and do now is that looks like at some point the uh, like the door probably got folded around and put a crease in here. Have a dowel um, of wood. I think I'll just try and tap that, tap it out the best I can without trying to, you know, without trying to rough it up and stuff. See what I can do. that's kind of going out I don't want to get too aggressive and uh, too aggressive and make a bunch of a bunch of little dints right I kind of want to keep it as smooth as I can so but like I said it is kind of working so I can't really get a nice straight shot on there I might have to get something a little smaller that I can follow that exact seam there but um, yeah, so let me see. Let's see what I can find here. Yeah, so I think I'm getting there. Just keep pecking away at it. I'll just keep hammering, hammering, hammering. Hopefully I can get that smooth enough so that it looks okay. Okay, so I think I'm getting close. I'll smooth that just a little bit more. Um, I, pr I probably said it a hundred times, but I'll say it again. Um, this is going to be a nice old patinaed car that I, I don't really want to do a bunch of body work and stuff to. Anyways, so I'll get that a little. I'll get that a little nicer, and I might just kind of buff it up a little and stuff. Um, and I, I believe these holes. Uh, well, I believe these holes aren't supposed to be here. These two holes. I don't know why they're there. But uh, I'll figure that out, and then. Uh, but there is going to be some. Uh, I don't know, some some patina there anyway. So, um, like I said, I'm getting close, so I'm not too concerned about this top part. I can't really get behind. So I think I'll just do the best I can with a bar, get it just a little bit more, smooth this out, and uh, I'll go from there. But uh, it's got. It's going to have the look I want it to have anyway. So I think it'll be okay. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and try and put this hinge in. I've been looking for some bolts, but I went I went ahead and uh, uh, with my handy little tap here, and I chased chased all these holes so that it'll be a little easier to get the bolts in uh, when the time comes. So, but these ones unfortunately are they're uh, kind of a little tapered tapered bolt. So I'll keep looking around and see if I can find them. Um, otherwise I'll have to just do whatever I can for now, but hopefully I can find something to put in there. They're just, uh, a little concave, fancy little bolt. So, but I'll find something to jam in there for now. And I'll go ahead and try and hang the door to see if I can make it look, see how it looks, see if it looks okay on there. And if it can, I can get it closed nice and stuff and I'll hang the other door. Make sure I got them moving okay. Um, probably got a lot of cleaning to do, a lot of you know massaging and stuff just to get it looking good here but uh i'll get these i'll get this uh hinges put on for now so
Okay, so I got the doors hung. I ain't gonna lie to you, that was a bit of a bear to be honest. The other one wasn't so bad. This one is the one that was damaged, I think. So I got some work to do here. You can see it. It's binding, it's binding there. Um, and to get it to line up, I still got a bunch of tweaking to do. I think the, the door itself was is bent a little where the hinge bolts to. So I've got to push that back. And I think that'll um, push it back. This other one, well, I'll grab that camera and I'll, I'll, I'll whip it around here. But this other one actually is turning out okay. I think just a little bit of tweaking but it uh it actually works pretty good did go ahead and do a bunch more cleaning uh, mostly the the doors um the inside of them and stuff so cleaned up a bunch more um what else um yeah i'll go ahead now and and start massaging this door to try to get it to close a little nicer i think it's it's gonna need some work you can see it's kind of not matching up here but i'm hoping that once i tweak that bottom hinge well the, the the door portion of it um yeah i'm hoping that it'll push back and it feels like the bottom has to the door has to twist a bit i'll bring this top out a bit i'll push that bottom in a bit should, should be able to i'll uh well i'll get it some way or another but uh or as good as i can but anyways it's coming along pretty good these doors are actually are you know other than this one they're actually pretty nice they, they close pretty good so i'll keep on trucking uh like i said massaging this one and then i think what i'm going to do is uh i'm going to work on getting the fenders uh mounted up and stuff so i can pick my uh so i can pick my wheelbase based off the fender wells and stuff front and rear all right so i think i'm going to pack it in for the night i'll uh show you around here okay so you can hear you can see here the driver's door i've been uh i've been trying to fit it here it's still a little tight i got to move the whole thing back the problem i'm having is this bottom hinge it doesn't really have forward and back adjustment but nevertheless it's uh getting really close um i'm not super concerned about the body lines they're looking actually not terrible they're getting there a little bit more but more than that these two these two parts are touching so Need to get that when you open the door. It gives a little, but uh, anyways, I mean it's getting there. And I'll uh, I'll uh, whip around, show you the other side here. This side uh, didn't have didn't have damage, or certainly not a ton, anyways. But so then this side is uh, looking a lot better. I do, I do need to tweak it up just a little bit to get the I don't know, just get the lines a little bit better. But I'll show you here. This baby opens, you know, it opens pretty good. I'm happy with that. And same with the back door here. They were already mounted, so um, they're not too bad. But, <clears throat> but anyways, I did, uh, did do a bunch more cleanup, so I'm going to sweep up here. And I'm uh, going to probably call it a night. All right, so I'm back here. I'm just going to continue working on this car. But first I, have to, uh, uh, first, I have to change the oil in the old Chevy there, that old 4x4. I've got to change the oil in it. And I do have to change the power steering pump on my wife's old SUV. It, uh, I have another one from one of these LSs that I pulled out. I have the Hydro Boost um, power steering pump. I'll try and uh, throw one of them in there, see if that fixes it. So, But anyways, first things, let's get this oil changed in this truck, and then we'll pull that SUV in and change that uh, steering pump. So we got my wife's old uh, SUV in here, her old Yukon. Um, 
it uh, the the power steering pump is leaking. Uh, it loses all its fluids, howling everywhere and stuff. So gotta gotta change that. Like I said, I got another one, an old one I had kicking around. So hopefully it's good enough. It's worth a try, anyways, right? So we'll go ahead and uh, go ahead and trade this out. Okay, so I got the fluid in there. Um, I think everything's buttoned up. I'll go ahead and fire it up. See if we got some power steering. See how it sounds. Okay, so we're back in the garage. Um, we're going to be back to work on this old, uh, this old Pontiac here up on the lift. So we'll be back working on that. I did get the, uh, I did get that power steering pump changed. Seems to be working good. Uh, it didn't start right away. And uh, turns out what it was was on the uh, on the side of the bracket on the side of the engine there, there was a, a ground fell off the one bolt that I pulled out that I didn't notice. So um, got that got that done. Uh, hooked that found that ground hooked it back up fired right up. So it's good to go now. So um, anyways we're back on this car. So let's get to work on it. Okay, so you see we have this uh, this is the left fender, and you can see down right down here we have you know, where it mounts to the body. And this one's a little bit of it's there, but uh, some of it's gone. Hopefully, I think, well, there's enough there. You can see the edges. There's enough there that I can uh, duplicate it and uh, rebuild that. The problem is, here's the other fender. Well, it's missing, to totally missing. So the good news is the fender itself is, is pretty good. Um, maybe a little fixing, but pretty good. But anyways, I, I feel, and it'll be symmetrical. So I feel I can make... I can make uh, two of them and I'll, uh, you know, then I'll have something to get this fender all mounted up. I'm going to start with this uh, chunk of cardboard. Um, like I said, I, I, this does look like it's shaped nice enough still. So I'm going to just go with it and I'll, uh, it's just a piece of cardboard, I can change it anyway. So I'm going to go ahead by uh, tracing it out, the shape of this. I'm going to have to guess, you know, just follow that to guess that to fill that. But uh, I'll go ahead and trace that out. And then I'll match it up with the car, see if everything looks good. And I'm pretty confident that it'll transfer over to that other fender as well. So I'll go ahead and do that. And um, hopefully we can have a piece that we can work with, transfer to some metal. So it's going to be hard. So I'll, I'll just lay it over. Try it like this. Yep, I think that's going to be easier. So that's about it. Just got to went, get, went ahead with some scissors and cut it out. But I'm hoping to weld it when I weld it in right along the, the edge. That's my plan. Is right along the edge so I can keep keep from mucking up the uh, the actual front side of the fender. So so that's gonna be the plan. Okay, so I got two of these cut out, one for each fender. Um, go in there like that, kinda. I used a little on the heavy side of material. Just because these old fenders are kind of heavy, this is a little heavier. But, anyways, then I'll have uh, something good to, something good and solid there. Anyways, someone had uh, looked like they'd brazed it, brazed this fender. There was braze on the, on the body as well. But someone had brazed this fender to the, to the car. So I just got to clean that up, um, clean that up, and clean this edge, and then I can go ahead and start uh, welding those pieces in. So let's get after it. Okay, so I think that's about got, well, most of it off, but uh, now I can go ahead and start trimming this, trimming this uh, old flange out and get it all cleaned up. And then I, I, like I said, I'd start with this fender because it's gone and it'll give me an idea of uh, where, you know, I got that fender to measure off of, probably measure back from here, you know, kind of give me an idea where to start that. So 
But that'll give me an idea where to get it close. At least I'll be in the ballpark. And I'll go ahead and stitch that stitch that in there. Hopefully I'll be right on the seam so that it'll be uh, kind of hard to notice, right? So this, this flange does have a little curve um, where the body meets. That one's curved. This is curved. So I went to the car and uh, it's curved a little too. So I just took my hammer and my, on my anvil there and gave this little curve till it matched the, matched the car there. So um, I'm happy with this. I'm happy with how this fits the car. Like I said, I, I did, I did uh, shape it off the car. So. Okay, so once I got clean in it, I realized that this front portion here, I, I feel it, well, either it was the, the brass or the, bra the brazing that mucked it up or, or that's, what, you know, that's what they were trying to fix. But anyways, it's uh, pretty crusty. I, can't, I don't think I can't save any of that. Just this little section here so i'm gonna have no choice but to put in a little patch panel um but i do have enough good material i'm gonna go ahead and i measured from this space back to that so i know where to start and it's right there so i'm gonna go ahead and tack this in i got enough I like that um like i said it's already it's already pretty sturdy but i will buff in there quick i did buff it a little but i'll buff it some more put a couple in the back and then it'll be plenty strong just like i said just to mount it it's just got to hold this back end up and stuff so um and then yeah after i think after i'll cut tastefully or i'll try to do the best i can to do it as little as possible but i'll cut a little a little chunk out and splice in a piece it'll take a little work because it'll have to get contoured and stuff a bit but okay so i went and i went ahead and drug in this core support because i did get that other little that other little uh flange tacked in that side was much better shape so it went real easy got that tacked in i went ahead and brought the core support in i'm going to kick the rad loose here um this is in a, i think this is, this front end is going to be a bit of a puzzle to try and figure out hopefully not too too bad but it is kind of all over the place so but anyways i need this core support because it's got the center piece to bolt the front of the fenders together the very the very nose so i'll go ahead and get this tore out that way i can get that put in get the fender height set to the body anyways i'll go ahead and get this uh, pulled apart if i can hopefully it's not too much of too much of a hassle it does look some of this does look does look custom already i think this must not be the original rad because this looks like uh, someone made this bracket. Looks like they welded a bunch of stuff together to try and make this bracket. So I don't believe that this is the original radiator or if it was, it was changed for some reason or other of configuration, but get it pulled apart and we'll see what we can do. Okay, so there we go. And then, yeah, you can see here, someone did a bunch of brazing and made some sort of uh, bracket and stuff over the years so again i don't think that's original but i'll uh I'll set that aside so i think i'll be okay i think this will be enough to go ahead and see if i can get them fenders bolted together in the nose there and uh and, and get them leveled up. i have to go ahead and decide if the fenders go on top of here or if they sandwich between i think i think they go on top it's looking like they probably go on top so so we're good to try and stuff that in there
Yeah, like like I said, it's going to be a little bit of a wrestling match getting this in here. And I think that, well, the reason is, is because I, I, if that core support was mounted to the frame, then you could just set the fenders on it. But we're not there. We're, we're in the middle of nowhere, right? So I'll go ahead and keep, keep plunking away, and hopefully I can get this wrestled in here. I'm getting close. This side's lined up. I think once I get, uh, once I get it all real close, I think I can uh, smash this in, and that'll just hold that center thing in. I can put some bolts in the top. That'll hold the fenders together then I can pick and choose my height there, so. got that uh, centerpiece bolted together. I think I can go ahead and chase this around and get it bolted up nice now that it's kind of held. But anyways, uh, I think the key is to get this kind of bolted up. That'll hold it and I can determine with the hood and the bracing and all that how these fenders are going to sit. Keep fiddling around, see how we, see how we make out. All right, I've been working uh, hard on this old car. I'll take a look at it. But basically what I did was um, let me see if I can get it. Yeah, so basically what I did is I got the uh, front end, I had to put the inner fenders, had to put the inner skirt, all that, brace it up enough that uh, it can hang off the front of the car. Um, I like these skirts anyways, obviously I'm going to clean them up real good. I might change the inside and make the engine bay look tight so we can have a hubby that last thing. Anyways, that's where I'm at with this. Got that baby kind of tidied up there. Now I can lift it more. Base and do all, all that stuff now. So, uh, anyway, so we go, let's uh, clean up just a little bit. I'll run and get that little, I'll get my little tractor, so we'll get that. 